Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and today's video is so special to me and really, really important. If you guys don't know already, Chris and I launched a CBD self-care shop online called The Art of Care, and you can always find us in the description box, but it's shoptheartofcare.com. A lot of people have reached out asking some questions about what CBD is, because either their doctors, their friends or family have recommended how CBD could potentially benefit someone's life. For me and for Chris, it has completely changed our lives for the better. A more natural alternative to some of the other things we were doing before, which involved a lot of prescriptions or over-the-counter medication. I was really lucky to interview Chancellor and Nick from Green Helix, which is one of the vendors that we personally love and carry in the shop. Everything I've tried from them, I've absolutely fallen in love with, and when you see this interview, you'll realize why. They're incredibly passionate, they're incredibly well-educated about CBD, the difference between CBD and THC. We're gonna go through all the information that you might want to know before trying CBD or information that maybe you've been using CBD but you didn't know why it works so well. I will have timestamps in the description box as well as in the pinned comment of this video because it is quite a long interview and there's probably information that you don't care about and information that you want to just skip ahead and find. So give the boys some love and without further ado, here's the interview with Chancellor and Nick. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Serene if you're new and I have two special guests from Green Helix here. My name is Nick Basios and my name is Chancellor Avon. He's actually the co-founder and president and I run a lot of our sales, logistics, uh, wholesale account uh, relationships and all that. The reason I wanted to have these guys on here is because you know five stories and maybe my monthly favorites. I talk a lot about how CBD has helped improve my life and Chris's. So much so that we decided to start our own CBD based online shop and we actually carry Green Helix products because I was really impressed. I wanted to kind of have a video where we can talk about CBD, how it helps people and what to look for if someone's shopping for it. The biggest thing is CBD is non-psychoactive. Absolutely. I was very judgmental about CBD. I was dealing with really bad um, menstrual cramps, anxiety, depression, stress, <laughs> taking prescriptives as well as over the counter, but I have a history of liver problems and so the amount I was taking was not healthy. That's when Chris was like, you really should try CBD. I actually started with CBD and THC combinations and when I started sharing that, people were like, where can I get this? And that's when I realized that's it's not, not available to yeah. And so that's when I started focusing on CBD, I realized it could be just as effective. Green Helix has been around, we've been operational since February of this year. Me and my partner, uh, before Green Helix, we were involved in cannabis in, uh, the, in the state of Colorado. Cannabis industry, it just really wasn't, that's not really where we wanted to be. We really, we were on the back end. We weren't necessarily a brand. We were wholesale cultiva cultivators and it just really didn't speak to uh, our strengths and kind of what we wanted to do. We wanted to be more on the front end of the brand. We wanted to be in people's faces. We wanted to have conversations with people. So being cannabis, you're limited to the state and we didn't want to be, we wanted to be global. We wanted to be nationwide. That being California, we would be able to bring wellness to the masses being out here. And it was just more of a spotlight out here than in Colorado. First off, we have to start with CBD or cannabidiol, which is not a non-psychoactive cannabinoid. It can come from the hemp plant or the cannabis plant. What CBD does when you ingest it is it activates your endocannabinoid system and allows your body to use cannabinoids that it naturally creates itself more efficiently. And when you add other phytocannabinoids to that from cannabis or hemp, it uses THC, CBN, CBG, and all the other cannabinoids more efficiently or more effectively. How does that help somebody with pain, with anxiety? CBD helps with immune function, pain management, sleep management, and stress management. And it does that through regulating, your endocannabinoid system regulates your other uh, systems in your body, including your nervous system, your di digestive system. Um, help me out here. It helps your body to signal those different systems a lot more efficiently. Uh, by exogenously putting those uh, the CBD or whatever, you know, wherever it's derived from, whether it be cannabis or hemp, it allows your body to use those a little bit more efficiently. That's how you see people getting relief from inflammation. 
inflammation because your endocannabinoid system um, it notices those cannabinoids being put into the system and it allows it to work more properly and being able to reduce the amount of inflammation throughout the body. Our products are all hemp derived. They're below the national level. The difference between the cannabis and the hemp derived CBD is because um, a lot of people do think that it's going to get you high yeah. um, and that comes from just a lack of education and that's something that building this company, Queen Chancellor Joseph and myself, education has really been the foundation and making sure that our clientele and just people in general know the difference because quite frankly it's not very easy to access that education and that platform. And being a hemp derived CBD company allows us to laterally move within different industries, um, within the fitness realm, spas, um, beauty. hotels, beauty, health and wellness, a lot more easily because there is no THC in the products um, or it's below that 0.03% threshold. That's kind of a little difference between the two products, yeah. In the cannabis plant, the main cannabinoid is THC. Mm -hmm. So when, you, when you're extracting CBD, you get more THC out of that. Whereas the hip plant, the main cannabinoid is CBD and it has very little THC in it. So it makes the extraction process easier. I'm personally a huge fan of your stress capsules. Thank you. I didn't think it would work. Like I, I, I woke up so anxious and I microdose yeah. daily yeah. in my yeah, coffee. Yeah, yeah. So it's already in my system. Mm -hmm. I have vape pens, but I was like, oh, I have these packets. I'm going to try mm -hmm. it. And so I took one capsule, just one. Yeah. And I think it's the blend with all yeah. of your herbal supplements mm -hmm. as well, because I had like a, a vitamin pack that was like made for me that had the ash ashwagandha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to help manage my stress. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, clearly, yeah. I'm asking. Yeah. With the CBD, mm -hmm. that was so impressive. I've been on prescriptives to manage anxiety and depression. The biggest difference for me was like I still felt everything I was feeling, yeah. but it was much more manageable, Absolutely. and I was able to like process mm -hmm. what I was feeling. If yeah. that makes Without sense. Without being yeah, intoxicated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It allows you to better cope with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because Instead of that numbing feeling. Yeah. yeah. That and that's what I want to like. If you guys have taken antidepressants or anxiety medication, a lot of the side effects for me is that I feel numb. Yeah. Absolutely. And a lot of my friends who are on it consistently, if they try to get off of it, it's almost overwhelming yeah. of all the feelings they suddenly now have to deal with. Absolutely. Aside from withdrawal symptoms, depending mm -hmm. on how much they've been taking and how long, it's a, it's a terrible you know, cyclical process that you have to go through. There's a time and a place for everything. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. One thing's not... I wouldn't say better than the other. It's just different tools at different times. I was very impressed with that, and I hope to carry it soon. But it's it's so good. I don't know how to describe it because I woke yeah. up like just feeling anxious, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna take this. And I even asked him, I'm like, I don't know if this is working. He's like, Oh yeah, it's working. <laughs> It's almost like the forget it effect, you know, yeah. like when you have a headache and you take Tylenol, do you ever feel the Tylenol? No, yeah. you just don't have a headache anymore. Yeah. I'm a big proponent in, in herbal remedies and plant medicine and, you know, we, we kind of took the idea from, if you've ever heard, in the CBD realm, there's a lot of talk about the entourage effect and that's when you have CBD with other cannabinoids and kind of, I took that idea and kind of put it in the plant world and we wanted to really support each of the elements that CBD helps out with, with our own proprietary herbal blends. Those of you guys listening at home, I was really into essential oils, and that kind of helped me wrap my mind around CBD, yeah. because I looked at CBD as an essential oil, even though it's not. One of that, what's interesting is that this is the first time in human history in a hundred years that cannabis or hemp hasn't been in our medicine cabinet or right next to like the rosemary, the lavender at the mm -hmm. time. Uh, and it's it's amazing that it's it's coming back. It's making a strong comeback. Yeah, yeah. it's a big consciousness shift for sure. I've always love supplements. Yeah. But I also think if you're watching, like, make sure you're not just buying the first supplement you see that yeah. says it's going to do this. Like, definitely do your research. I always like to know the people that make the supplements that, too. That's, 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 that's big. Like, yeah. Where, yeah. Where's their head at? Where's their heart at? Yeah. Um, because that blends into the products that they're going to create. Obviously you have a passion for it and I think that's important. You know, it wasn't, it's not a, oh, hey, let's, let's create these products and get rich quick scheme, mm -hmm. you know? Um, you know, cannabis and hemp have, have been massive uh, proponents in my life and, uh, and helped me out through, uh, through opiate addiction. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was a division one football player and I got addicted to opiates and cannabis and hemp, uh, like cold turkey, helped me overcome that. That's amazing to be able to get off of that cold turkey. Yeah, and, then, uh, and I've just, you know, uh, being from Texas, it's very looked down upon. My paper study got put in front of me 
I was kind of at my wits end with it. And it was like, all right, cool. I'll try, you know, I'll try anything at this point. It, it, it became a huge consciousness shift over me because it, I knew if I had been lied to, man, I know so many other people that have been lied to. And that it really became a passion of mine to, uh, to bring this to life. Well, I was so against it because of the D.A.R.E. program in oh. school. Yeah, 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 no, for sure. Yeah, and for it sure. was like the gateway drug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that, again, bad education. Yeah. yeah, and it took so long. And I don't know why, because like in college, everybody like tries stuff, and I yeah. did. And it wasn't that it did anything bad. It yeah. just, I was so, so against the everything that might resemble weed or marijuana yeah. or anything like that. And because of CBD, I'm actually a lot more open to um, pot use, yeah. especially um, watching a parent get sick and watching people be in so much pain. The relief you see someone getting, and more importantly, the relief, but also the ability to go back to work. Mm -hmm. Forget about money. It's more about like having a purpose in life. Yeah, I've, had, I've had people message, message me being like, I was using heavy narcotics and painkillers because of this injury. I had to be on disability. I got really depressed, but then I discovered CBD. Yeah, yeah. I can go back to work now. Like Exactly. And use it throughout the day, not yeah. be intoxicated, drive, perform properly mm -hmm. at work. We're, uh, you know, the great thing about being in this industry is we're getting contacted by people who, our own grandparents, aunts, uncles, people that you would never expect to be using CBD are saying, you know, my grandson or, you know, my nephew got me to try your products. Thank you. You know, you guys have kind of like turn the envelope for us. Um, so it's great to see that slow shift in the older generations, not just in the millennial generation. I'm nervous to tell my brother, hey, I'm selling CBD. <laughs> yeah. What's he gonna think? But he was so supportive. Tell my friends what yeah. CBD is. And they're like in their 60s and they're like, oh, we use it, we love it. We buy That's it awesome. for, yeah. And that just makes me happy. Like, I'm like, buy it for me, but <laughs> I'm just happy that you're using it. Because I think it's so important. And Chris and I are so passionate about it. I think for me, because I had such a misconception and I was like, if this can do what it's doing for me and I don't have to take antidepressants, it could help so many people and it's more affordable. It yeah, absolutely, definitely. absolutely. And that was yeah. one thing that, you know, when creating the line, we wanted it to be, you know, triple the dose for half the cost. You know, a lot of products aren't as efficacious or their lower dosage, you know, when you digest it, you do lose some in the process of digestion, no matter what way you ingest it. Um, so having a high dosage efficacy along with the other plant-based uh, proprietary blends working within synergy of the CBD um, was something that we really felt strongly about and kind of like hang our hat on because a lot of people can purchase our products and they're getting more for their money's worth and it's lasting longer and it's giving them more relief. So it's not just, you know, blanketing, terming. Uh, CBD, like Chan said, it, obviously it helps with a slew of different ailments, but having other blends to help cope with the, um, you know, the other ailments that come with mm -hmm. that is tremendous for our, for our clientele. If you guys look at the price point, it might seem like it's a lot, but at the same time it's not, especially mm -hmm. when you consider, like, if you were to buy each ingredient separately yeah, at the amount of dosage, yeah. and again, where are you guys sourcing it? Like, if you get what you pay for in this world. 100%. I feel like you guys are very fairly priced for the quality. Absolutely, absolutely. If you're in a lot of pain or you're dealing with a lot of stress, like, what is it, what's that price yeah. to you? To have, yeah, to have peace of mind and be out of pain, it's, I mean, it's, it's really up to the individual, but yeah, absolutely, there's no price you can really put on that. That has no negative effects that yeah. we know of right now. There's yeah. no toxicity to, uh, with CBD. And that's, I think, what scares people is that there really is no side effects that we know of other than, Feeling I don't better? Feel yeah, better. Yeah. We guinea pigged ourselves multiple yeah, yeah. times. <laughs> really high yeah. Well, so through, through all the research that we've done, um, I mean, they give most cancer patients 2,000 to 3,000 milligrams of CBD, which is way more than the average person can they even really get their hands on. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's no toxicity with that, you know? That's crazy. So, Two thousand, like that's a lot of yeah, milligrams. That's a, that's a whole a bottle. Yeah. That's a whole bottle in one sitting. Because I'm thinking I only needed fifty. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, exactly, right. On like a bad day. Yeah. Someone who's looking to try something, what would you recommend, like in terms of dosage? If, you know, someone starting out, I would say, you know, in, in our research and our focus groups that we did, it was anywhere between, depending on your ailment, that, you know, there, and there's a ton of variables in that, but anywhere between thirty to fifty to all the way up to two hundred milligrams. Mm -hmm. 
per serving. I recommend trying tinctures or gel caps first. I would say it depends on what your what your preferred method of ingestion is. Yeah. You know, a lot of people don't like to swallow pills, um, and then some people don't like to taste the tincture. Yeah, you know, yeah. even though I don't, you know, the, the tincture has a very bland taste. Let's start with pain because I think a lot of people are dealing with a lot of pain. I would always say to start with a full spectrum first. Mm -hmm. um, you know, something like uh, like we have our super pure, our full spectrum tincture. Um, it's thirty milligrams a serving. Start with a full serving. If you're a little bit more apprehensive, you can always start with half a serving and, and kind of dial it back and forth as you need to. Um, but I would always say start with the full serving because like Chance mentioned earlier, um, you get that entourage effect of, of having a full spectrum cannabinoid profile from that. Uh, so I would always start with that because that's going to give you the most relief. Mm -hmm. And then depending on how you feel, you can scale it from there. Okay. So I would say, like I said, the 15 to 30 range to start and then move it up from there if you need to. I feel like tinctures work faster than the capsules, is that true? Yeah, yeah absolutely, okay. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. It's all about consistency with cannabinoids and CBD and you know, however you like to dose with whatever you know type of cannabinoid, doing it consistently is gonna give you the best benefit. A lot of people will try it one time, be like, ah, it didn't really do anything for me, obviously, because it's non-psychoactive. So that's where people kind of have that stigma against it. So it's do it consistently, keep it within your regimen for a week or two, and then you can kind of gauge it from there. Morning coffee. Yeah. There's a little scoop nice. in my coffee. And, and you definitely notice the difference when you're on it and then you don't take it. It's yeah. like, where's, where's my CBD? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's my fix? Yeah. I've also noticed it helping with my workout and recovery. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like huge. crazy. Huge. Yeah. Because yeah. I just started weight training again, which normally I wouldn't be able to walk. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wait, I'm like kind of sore. Did I even work out? <laughs> nice. You know, like where you're confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so the anti-inflammation -inflam properties of CBD, I think that's like such a big reason why I also was trying it because I was really into the essential oil um, copaiba because yeah. they're supposed to help mm -hmm. with inflammation. Mm -hmm. And so many problems, like we talk a lot on about skincare, acne, rosacea, like everything is Psoriasis. because because of inflammation yeah. and then it just makes sense that like anything wrong joint wise um muscular do you guys have pets we do yeah. you do yeah okay what kind of pets do you have i have, have a hungarian vishla his name is Krista. it's crazy <laughs> I love that name. He, if you don't know what the vishla the breed of vishla is their nickname is the velcro dog he's a pointer so he's a, he's a hunting dog he's a small game hunting dog so he's very hyperactive. He's very. He wants to work all the time. He wants to. He wants to get into things. Um, being the nickname, being the Velcro dog, he always wants to be by me. He always wants to be by me. I don't pee alone. I don't shower alone. <laughs> I don't go to bed alone. Um, you can't. You can't go in the separate room and shut the door alone. Like he's always got to be. <laughs> yeah. So when you're not there, he he tends to freak out. He mm -hmm. tends to have really bad separation anxiety. And CBD has just completely changed our relationship. Um, because he's calm, he's, he's together, um, he, 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 can, uh, he can lose his mind pretty easy, but with CBD it's, it's not the case. And uh, Nick being my roommate, he, yeah, can, yeah. he, can, he can attest can to this. definitely attest to that. When, 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 you, uh, when you are my roommate, yeah. you are also Christo's roommate. Yeah, exactly. uh, you're also Christo's. You're living under Christo's roof. Yeah. yeah. So is that where Fur Baby Fix came? So Fur Baby Fix came from a combination of my pet and uh, my partner's pets. He has a cat and a dog. And if you look on the logo, it's uh, the logo with the, with the cat and the dog looking mm -hmm. at each other. It's actually a photo that he took of his pets when they got nose to nose. Um, his cat is going through, his cat is uh, of, you know, of older age. Um, she's going through some changes, having some you know pain and everything. And uh, that's why we kind of created the product was, was kind of for our pets. Um, it's really helped her with, with all of her pain and arthritis. His dog, the same way, kind of uh, has a lot of anxiety that it's helped out with. We give it to our two dogs, one for bad back knees, but we started giving it to her because she felt left out. We were yeah. giving it to our other dog who was very anxious. And I don't want people to think like giving the CBD is going to chill them out in a way where they're not your dog anymore or your cat. Yeah. It definitely is still personality. Oh, definitely will still play, yeah. actually plays better, I feel like. They're like more into playing yeah. when they when it's time to play. I think that they, it just makes them feel more comfortable. Yeah, that's like the gateway to CBD for a lot of people is their pets. They yeah. keep hearing about pet CBD. I was in a pet store recently and I saw that they're selling pet CBD and I picked it up and I was all like, um, is this, do you know how many milligrams this is? Cause it's not listed. And the, the, the guy who works there had no idea, didn't know what was in it. I was like, is this full spectrum? And they're like, yeah. 
Uh, I'm like, where is it derived from? <laughs> you just have a label that says CBD pet tincture. That's so, an issue. so here's here's where we get into the problems of the industry, is that it is completely unregulated. Mm -hmm. That and when you are looking for a, and there there are a ton of companies coming to light right now, coming on board, coming to market, and a lot of them are just for profit. Yeah. Um, and when you are looking for a CBD company, there are a few things you want to look out for. You want to look for one, the label being correct. Like, you know, it's, it's got the correct information on there. Um, it's easily digestible. And secondly, you want it to be from the U.S. Grown and derived and, and manufactured in the United States. Other, other countries have different uh, agricultural regulations than us that um, don't create the best product for, for you or your pets. Thirdly, you want third-party lab testing, which uh, creates transparency. I hate to say this because I'm in the beauty industry, but like beauty brands are jumping on the CBD bandwagon right yeah. now. And I'm like, you can't just throw CBD in there. Why? Yeah. And what is that doing? We have a couple beauty products. We do, yeah. yeah. Pretty, actually, a really extensive beauty line. Okay. Yeah, yeah which is, it's titled Helix Beauty, so it's a, it's a segment from Green Helix. We have a total of three different body oils, uh, a facial reparative oil. Uh, we also have a body butter, a rice milk firming cream, hand and body cream. And we've got a, a few other really cool things in the pipeline. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's what we're going to launch. I think, unfortunately, it's become, fortunately and unfortunately, it's become a trend. It has, yeah. 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 And, and to kind of go back on the education, you know, on our website, we also have, like, a couple pro tips mm -hmm. on how to use the product efficiently. You know, how to dose either with the capsules or the tinctures or vape pens, um, or how to apply the beauty products, how to work them into your daily regimen. So that way, you know, you're a little bit more comfortable with using them properly. Um, you're getting some efficient use out of them as well as you know anybody that we work with as like a third party vendor, we always try to do as best we can to educate the employees. You know, Chancellor and I will sit down, we'll educate them about CBD itself, how it works within the body, kind of like what we're doing here, um, and then tell them about Green Helix and what the difference is and, and how to properly use those and then relay that to their clientele. No issues with building a tolerance. No, not, that uh, I've seen, not that I've seen, no. Okay. no none that we've experienced. I would say the Super Pure is our favorite. For yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. I, I absolutely love that because you just get it. You get a great body relaxation from it. You don't get high from it. Um, and it's just very soothing. Um, I usually dose personally with like 60 milligrams at a time. Uh, and I find I get great sleep, especially post workout. Um, maybe I'll, I'll sometimes pair it with one of our other uh, isolate products, like the recovery if I'm leaving the gym. But the Super Pure is definitely my favorite. Yeah, yeah I would say uh, either the Super Pure or the Sleep for me. Oh, uh, the you sleep know, one? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's <laughs> come home from, from work, I, I pop two, you know, two or three super pure, I relax, I'm, chill, I'm chilled out, I eat my food, take my shower, do my nightly routine, pop two, uh, <laughs> two sleep before bed, and um, I'm out like a baby for eight hours. Yeah. Well, the crazy thing is Chris was taking Ambien because yeah. he couldn't sleep. It was bad. Like, he still couldn't sleep yeah. on there, that. Like, we hear some crazy stories about people on Ambien doing we, things that they have no recollection yeah. of doing. We have had uh, I would, more than a few people write into us on our yeah. email and say, Hey, man, I was taking Ambien. I'm not taking your sleep product. I'm, I'm switching over. You know, yeah. I'm converting. I have people who don't want to take the prescription sleep pills, but they'll take melatonin. Mm -hmm. And they mm -hmm. start taking more and more. I'm like, well, you... Yeah. Build up a tolerance because yeah. your body's not naturally producing it anymore. Yeah. Okay, so I gave them good advice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so yeah, like, it, it, it can become an issue at that point. Melatonin's okay for travel if you need it or something, mm -hmm. but yeah. like you mentioned... Or to get back on a good routine yeah, right. or something like that. Yeah. yeah. But if you take it every night, your body just stops making it. Mm -hmm. And then you take more and more. <laughs> and sedative then, sleep aids, things like and that. And then when you don't have it, your body's not being signaled by your circadian rhythm to produce melatonin, and then you're just up all night, and then yeah. you're you're back in that all that routine. Say like people coming from, coming off of like injuries or post surgery, um, you want to apply CBD both topically and ingesting it as well too. So you actually have a lot more receptors on your skin uh, for uptaking with CBD than you do internally. So if you take it both ways, you can spot treat specifically. So if you're having, you know, shoulder pain, you can treat within your shoulder and then you can also take it as well to capsule, tincture, vape, whichever way you prefer. You spoke on the, that you were experiencing some, some PMS pain or some menstrual pain. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that I did not know and uh, a woman on our team let us know internally, and this is why we created this product, is that there are more cannabinoid receptors in your ovaries than anywhere else on the body. Oh, that explains why it helps 
during that time of the month. Yeah. It's taking eight Advils oh, wow. at a time. Oh, wow. And that would only last like a couple hours. Yeah. That's not oh, good. That's not sustainable. That's no, not good for all, someone with. All. And it'll wreck your stomach. And Well, I have a history of liver problems. Oh, wow. So. Yeah. so definitely not good. Really not good. No. I'm a pharmacist and she was just like, you shouldn't do that. And I'm like, but I'm in so much pain. Mm -hmm. That's actually what brought me to go buy um, a bunch of things to test mm -hmm. out for that time. And I don't know how to explain it other than like, yes, I still feel like it's that time of the month, but it's definitely way more manageable. And worst case scenario, I take like three dropper pulls instead of yeah. One dropper. Mm -hmm. CBD is also an anti convulsant, so that's why it'll really help with those spasms. It should work really well with children like with epilepsy and things like that. Well, they're wanting anti epileptic properties. So for me, it's not just the cramping and the pain, it's also lower back pain. Oh, yeah. And then I'm a nightmare. Like, he's actually he said, like, if we had more money, I would go and stay at a hotel for that <laughs> week. So crazy you said this, say this, we actually, uh, in our formula, in our menstrual formula, we paired it with a bunch of B vitamins and magnesium to help out with mental clarity mm -hmm. okay. along, along with that. Because I did see that, there, you know, every every formula is a slightly different blend. Correct, yeah. So I saw the magnesium, which I was like, oh, people say I should take magnesium. Yeah, yeah. We're, all, um, we're all deficient in magnesium. Yeah, yeah. There's, it's, no. uh, it helps with over 325 different processes in the body and 80% of the population is magnesium deficient. Here's something that I really hate when people say, and I want to hear your opinion because I'm sure you'll hate it too. You don't need to take supplements or vitamins because you can eat everything that you should no. have in your system. Good luck. No. Right? Are, 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 being, a, being a fourth generation farmer, there are our soil is becoming nutrient deficient so much that one apple back in the 60s is the that nutritional value is equivalent to 50 apples today what so it's like our our, our food our food is becoming less and less uh, you yeah. know uh has less nutrients in it so it's it's vital that and our, our environment is not what it was then so it's vital to take you know the, the proper supplements mm -hmm. and vitamins that, that you need and everyone yeah. needs different things you mm -hmm. know and there's there some there's some bases that are universal that, that that can cover everyone but definitely uh i i would say that they're they're important i think they're important my doctors think they're important um i think that's a very ignorant statement that yeah. i've heard repeatedly which drives me crazy because i'm just like especially if you have a specific diet uh you know eating and food is one of the most important things you can do but we all have lives we all have yeah. people to see we have jobs like you know this is a very go 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 world now mm -hmm. and so to say that, like you would literally have to commit your entire life to the food, to the eating, growing it yourself, um, and that's, I mean, that's not sustainable for, you know, 99% of people. Most doctors would agree, too, that you, you need some sort of supplement. Really good spectrum. I definitely think quality um, is really important. It's why we started the shop is because we wanted to curate. Yeah. All the quality products, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And kind of help with some of the noise out there, because like you said, it's not regulated. Um, and just so you guys know, it's not FDA approved, approved but none of your supplements well, are. Well, back up. At the FDA just approved the new drug, Epidiolex, which is okay. a, which is a synthetic CBD, mm -hmm. which is by the company uh, GW Pharma, the okay. pharmaceutical company GW Pharma. So there is some efficacy to this whole CBD thing now that the federal government's now recognizing. Yeah, and it's also going through the House and Congress right now. There's very little opposition, if any, going through these. There was actually one just earlier this week, um, and it passed through Congress, you know, fluidly. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a few more steps to get through that, but it's looking that it's going to be possibly uh, rescheduled and it'll be taken off the Schedule One uh, uh, DEA list at the end of this month when the 2014 Farm Bill Act expires and the 2018 Farm Bill reenacts. So we're hoping to see that descheduled there. Two years ago, there was less than 10,000 acres of hemp being grown in the United States. It was just a pilot program that started in Colorado and Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Today, there's over 50,000 acres being grown. Next year, there's going to be over a quarter million acres grown. Mm -hmm. So these states are coming online right now and, and planning massive hemp, you know, hemp yeah. operations right now. So I th I'm pretty sure I'm, it's safe to say that it's here to stay. They're taking... States are taking their entire tobacco fields that they used to just cultivate nothing but tobacco, turning those over just for hemp production. So it's like you said, it's, it's definitely moving forward in our, in our direction.
That's awesome. Yeah. It'll hopefully make doing business easier too. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so with supplements though, the FDA doesn't regulate no, that. No, no. And I think, cause there's been times when people online will be like, it's not FDA approved. I'm like, well, look at any bottle of vitamins. Are. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and that's where as the consumer, you have to do your diligence on a company and the people that run that company and, and make an educated decision on, is this product gonna help me or not? And yeah. also, you know, it's very important to consult your physician. That's one of the biggest things is that, that as a supplement company, as a CBD company, we can't make and we can't make health claims, you know? And, and as, as the consumer of these products, you have to take it upon yourself to, to, to get the research and make the best decision for you. Absolutely. And hopefully there'll be more research now that mm -hmm. there's a synthesized version. And, and, and with it being descheduled, we're able, uh, being descheduled from schedule one, we're going to be able to see a lot more research being mm -hmm. done. And, mm -hmm. and the research that's come out, it's barely, we bar we haven't even scratched the surface of it yet, mm -hmm. of, of the potential of this. I feel like we're at the beginning of something. Definitely. Yeah. Um, Bootleg era. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, right? Our, in our formulation line, our sleep, our stress, our recovery and our menstrual were all isolate based, our CBD isolate based. Mm -hmm. And we did that for two reasons. One reason being there are, there is a small percentage of people that are, uh, that have acute sensitivity to THC. Um, they have negative side effects from it. The other one is people who get drug tested all the time. It's mm -hmm. not, it's, it's not black or white on whether or not you're gonna, you're gonna fail the drug test or not. It just depends on your, how your body processes THC. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to create something that people could feel safe taking and, and, and not being, you know, not losing their job, not, you know, we have professional athletes that take our product, but they're not gonna uh, fail the drug test and not be able to play, yeah. you know, so we wanted to uh, curate those for people. That's a really important thing, because people were asking, will it show up on talk screening? So you're saying the sleep, the menstrual... The recovery and the stress. And the stress, those won't show up. Correct. Correct. And on the Super Pure, it's not, Again, it's not black and white. It's how your body processes THC. Yeah. Because it's 0.19 percent per serving okay. of THC. So it's it's very very minute, but it all it, it's all varies. It depends on your drug screening at that yeah. point. Yeah, <laughs> like how yeah. sensitive yeah, is it yeah, going to exactly. be? How, yeah, how minuscule they go. And then we have a tincture called Canna Rescue. So that because of cannabis being at the forefront and being super trendy, everyone's going out to the dispensaries and they're buying these edibles and they're they're smoking these crazy things. They're smoking the concentrates and you know while this is all great and exciting, is there is still the other side of this that these these are these can harm you. These these have these can have harmful psychological effects if you take too much and you freak out. Then what, you know? So we created a product that negates the negative effects of THC. So if you are planning on going and, and, and trying an edible for the first time or trying these concentrates, we created a product that, you know, once you take the edible that you can take and you start to kind of freak out or you have your heart starts racing, you, you know, you kind of feel like you're coming out of your body, you can take Arcana Rescue and it will help dimin diminish all of those effects. So take could have used that on we, we all could have used that at one point or another it won't, for sure. Uh, it won't take away the high. <laughs> Yeah. But it will take away the heart racing feeling, mm -hmm. the being outside of your body, the uh, anxiety. anxiety, the paranoia, and it will kind of help relax and kind of put a ceiling uh, on the high. I got really nauseous on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Their anniversary, and I was like, I'm taking an edible and oh, I'm going awesome. to Cheesecake nice. Factory. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I ate too much, got car sick. And he was like, that's not supposed to happen. But I was like, I'm really nauseous right yeah. now. It, so there, there's a compound called 11 hydro. 11 hydroxyl uh, something I can never say the I'm word it's a mouthful that. I'm, I'm it's sorry, a mouthful but it but it uh, it increases the bioavailability of THC so you're going to absorb way more out of that edible than you are going to smoke that joint regardless yeah. of whether they're the same milligram be responsible <laughs> I took yes, an edible because I didn't want to drink for me it's like the same way of getting that like head high of mm -hmm. without the hangover of alcohol the side effects of alcohol specific specifically for someone with liver problems. I would like to point out that that was like, I broke up that edible like so many different times. Every yeah. single time, it's been a different <laughs> experience. That's, that's a hard thing with edibles. And the, and the good thing about regulation now in the cannabis industry is having those specifically dosed edibles mm -hmm. to where you know exactly how many milligrams. They're five, 10 milligrams, so it's a good point of entry. Unfortunately, 10 years ago, not a lot of us had that, so we just kind of <laughs> had to go into the abyss and just hope so we, we came out. Can rescue. Can rescue. So that's a good one. 
probably for college students. Yeah. Well, also, also older people. So you know, like we said, you know, bringing down that stigma, and a lot new, a lot newer people are getting into this. Grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles who have never really smoked since you know cannabis was a much lower percentage of THC. Mm -hmm. um, this is a great item for them to have alongside, just as a fail safe. You know, just in case they do get too high, they can use the can of rescue to diminish those negative effects um, and not be completely turned off from THC and, and, and cannabis. They didn't even have a bad experience with. THC in college mm -hmm. it's just for whatever reason that dare program is like stuck <laughs> in your head yeah it and make you feel like a bad person yeah. yeah but I meanwhile I'm like binge drinking and yeah. I've even smoked so it's kind of like cigarettes we know how bad that is yeah it's a catch-22 yeah and then drinking we all know what the side effects of that yeah. can be yeah. it's really it takes a lot of undoing it's a lot of rewiring for sure thank you guys so much yeah. for yeah, taking you. time being here i will have green helix's website in there as well as in the description box as well as their instagram cool. the other thing i want to say is thank you for making products that like are cool like the way they're packaged i think that was a big thing for me like being able to go into med men and being like oh this doesn't feel shady yeah, yeah. this this is like a cool packaging. It's not, it's not just a, a label on a bottle. Yeah. 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 To feel comfortable. Oh. Thank you for having us. Yeah, yeah thank, of course. Thank you. Um, I don't know. We didn't, I don't think we touched on the uh, the Helix Sanctuary. Oh, What's that? Um, so yeah. we are, uh, right now we are currently building out a storefront. Oh, yeah. Called, I, well, yeah. I've heard of it. Called yes. the Helix Sanctuary. Uh, we are on Melrose and Sweetser. We built this place so that people would feel comfortable coming in and, you know, being able to sit down with a professional and kind of curating how your life works with CBD and, and, mm -hmm. and become uh, the forefront of it, you know, the education portion mm -hmm. of it. That's gonna be really awesome because I think also it's still MedMen, some people are still like, because MedMen is THC based mostly. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of people are having trouble finding just CBD. Cause right. that, Absolutely. I have a friend who will not touch anything that will potentially even like mention a high. Yeah. And she went into a dispensary in Colorado. It was like, they looked at like, they looked at me like I was crazy because yeah. they didn't have just CBD. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to be amazing that someone can walk in, be like, hey, what do I need? This has no high effect. And because unfortunately, like MedMen, all their products, like there's a potential right. to yeah. get high. When is it going to open? Um, sometime in October. Sometime oh, really? Yeah, very soon. Yeah, it's very close. Soon. We'll have to We're come in and there. tour it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it'll be a, a really cool immersive experience for people. You know, obviously, I'll be able to purchase some products there, but really, like, like Chance said, it's it's for education purposes, getting people comfortable with using these and integrating them into their life. We're, we're, we're very excited for it. Just walking in and being able to talk to someone helps so much in seeing the product. And it's not being an aggressive environment. You know, yeah. It's going to be very zen-like, mm -hmm. um, very peaceful. Yeah. That's the one thing I love about this community is like everyone's so supportive. Everybody's been really chill. We'll have business questions and you, yeah. everyone's always been so open and helpful. Mm -hmm. Just. It's it's a really cool community. It is. Yeah, we're we're very fortunate. You know, this this whole industry's, you know, it's not going to work properly without proper collaboration. You mm -hmm. know, so being able to collaborate with other companies and play well with others and learn from each other because the laws are so weird and they change on a daily basis and it's very hard to navigate. So being able to have that collaboration is is very important. Just to clarify, CBD from hemp is completely legal in all fifty states. Correct. As of filming this video. Yes. Cool, thanks for being here. Uh, thank you, thank you. Thanks. Bye. See you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's informational video with Chancellor and Nick. Thank the guys so much. If you see them, um, if you head over to their Instagram account or visit them on their website, let them know I sent you. They're so knowledgeable. They've been really helpful and incredible. And this community of CBD vendors and brands have just been incredible. Everyone is just so passionate about wanting people to feel better and feel more confident and just feel healthy again. And I think that's the important thing is everyone just feels better in this industry because um, like Chancellor was dealing with using heavy, heavy drugs because of playing football. Um, for me, it has changed my life so much for the better. It has changed Chris's life so much for the better. And even Dolly and Cooper have seen improvement. And so so many of you guys who already love CBD have actually messaged in and telling me how it's changed your lives, which makes me so happy. So of course, 
check out our shop check out green helix but at the end of the day i hope this video was informational and help you be a little bit more open-minded to cbd and the possibilities of it there's still a lot that we don't know but so far there hasn't been any side effects I think when you can go a more homeopathic route first that's always the better option and then of course when you really need it, get those prescriptions and get the over-the-counter medication and always consult your doctor. But all of my doctors have been really happy with my results and a lot of doctors have advised a lot of my viewers to look into CBD. I hope this was very educational and if you guys have any questions, please, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. I will do my best to reply. And of course, find us on shoptheartofcare.com. Our email is available there. Chris answers every single email. He reads every single one. So we can hopefully help guide you with your specific issues. Um, please be aware that we are not medical professionals, so we can't help you diagnose or treat, but we can offer suggestions and guide you in the right place um, and maybe give you some links to read up on as well. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, check out my other normal videos more like lifestyle thingies uh, that is me playing with beauty products for the most part. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.